let, let me keep a rigid body on a some plank I can apply to anything so let, let me apply the force <coughs> F to the rigid body here this having a mass m this is 2m so let, let this be a disc this is rough and this is smooth now what is the maximum value of force for which no slipping occurs between the disc and the plank block open a block can you remember so similar ideas is what we are trying to find the maximum value of force F for which no slipping occurs between the disc and plank and no slipping means that's what the meaning of that is what we have to understand here so I'll do one thing I'll write m1 and m2 so that it be easy for us so that we can do comparison yeah uh, very first question how to get the direction of friction you have enough basics apply the just know what you learned you should know how to apply here now there's a rigid body Try this one. Get the direction of friction all. I'll have water. How to, uh, how to how the friction will act we know that we apply the force at center of mass friction must act here in the direction the friction here will be like this then acceleration of center of mass of this a1 then alpha 1 then acceleration of this let it be a2 I'll, I'll focus on these two points no slipping is telling I'll, I'll come to later on let me write all the set of equations here so first equation is what f minus applied force on on the disk let me write it f minus small f is equal to m1 a1 then the torque equation f into r is equal to ic alpha 1 now further what is ic ic will be m1 r square by 2 alpha 1 or what is f is equal to m1 r alpha 1 by 2 call this equation 1 this equation 2 now then uh, for, for the plank f should be equal to m2 a2 keep it here now how many unknowns are there a1, A2, alpha 1 and friction. Four unknowns. We need one more equation. No slipping occurs. For no slipping occurs. What is the meaning of no slipping occurs? The acceleration of point P1 must be equal to point P2. And what is the friction acting? Is the rolling friction. The friction which is acting is the rolling friction. So what is F? Strictly what is this? I should call rolling friction. Then condition for no slipping. For no slipping, what is the equation? You can write it as a1 minus r alpha 1 aggregation of point p1 should be called aggregation of point p2 just go back no slipping idea we have introduced in the block open a block for no slipping what we can write a p1 equal to a p2 now what is a p1 
Now what is AP1? AP1 should be equal to A1 minus R alpha. What is AP2? Should be equal to A2. Substitute all the equation 1, 2, 3 in 4. You'll get the required answer. So A1 should be equal to how much? F minus small f by M1. What is R alpha 1? 2F by M1 should be equal to what is A2? F by M2. Solving this, we'll get expression for the friction or applied force in terms of friction here. So I'll, I'll further continue this. So this will be F by M1 I think you are able to see this. Mm -hmm. ah, F by M1, M1, so this will be 3F by M1, F by M2. So therefore, what is the expression for F will be? Small f you take outside. 3M2 plus M1. or 3 plus m1 by m2 small capital F is equal to 3 plus m1 by m2 now I'll keep on increase applied force I think we need a lot of space huh? I try to see that one I'll keep on increase. Do make observation. Some again block open a block. First time you are seeing in the rigid body. I'll keep on increase applied force. So what happened? Even the rolling friction will increase. Is there any upper limit for rolling friction? That is equal to limiting. Then if you apply force, so there is a maximum permitted value of applied force, no? Because what is the maximum permitted value of rolling friction? Equal to limiting friction. Mu s m g, mu s m one g here. So that is the maximum permitted value of applied force here. I think that's what the question asks. Find the maximum value of force F for which no slipping occurs here. So from this, I can, I'm able to bring F max is equal to 3 plus M1 by M2 into FL. How much it will be? 3 plus So there's a value. So if you apply force greater than this, slipping will occur. If you apply force less than this value, no slipping occurs. Yeah, so the same ideas of block open a block is what we have just introduced here also. Okay, getting. So let, let me go to the inclined friction on rolling inclined plane. 